So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the snap mode. So down here in the status bar, your snap mode will be right here, right next to your grid mode. So first things first is let's set up the snap mode. So if we right click, go to snap settings, you'll see our drafting settings window pops up again. Now if you remember, we used the right side of this window for our grid settings. Now we're going to hop over to the left hand side for our snap settings. So we're going to make our snap settings half an inch. We're going to make it equal to our grid spacing. You always pretty much 99% of the time want to keep it equal just so you're snapping right on these line intersections here. Because you don't want to be snapping halfway through and then it'll just become a huge mess and get confusing and get frustrated. So we'll set these for half an inch. Just go ahead and enter 0 0.5, 0 0.5 keep them equal. This is for our grid snap and a rectangular snap. Don't worry about isometric or, or polar right now. And if you don't have your grid spacing change, you can go ahead and change it right now to half an inch just to keep it the same, keep it uniform. So once you have your drafting settings window looking like this, go ahead and press OK. Now that's all set up. So press F7 turn on your grid and if you want to turn on your snap you can either type snap it'll ask you again to enter your spacing which you can if you want but you can just type on and that'll turn it on or you can just type you see down here F9 that'll activate it turn it off turn it on all that so we'll leave that on now let's draw a rectangle so you can either come up here to the home tab or you can just type rectangle. Now, let's just zoom up a little bit. We want to make this rectangle, we kind of want to make it, make it two and a half by two and a half, the size of this, uh, the major line right here. So we can either enter 2.5 comma 2.5, and it'll make it like that or we can simply type rectangle in again. We'll start down here. We can simply just drag it up. Now you see with our, with our snap mode on, you can see it kind of lock into the grid. That's why you want to keep them the spacing the same at half inch because otherwise it's going to be locking at, you know, it's not going to be locked on the line and it's going to be pretty confusing. So this way it's pretty easy. So you can just kind of drag up, drag over to wherever you need it. And that's how you use the snap mode.